Anarchism is inherently fundamentally flawed because it cannot defend itself from outside forces. Because you're an atomized individual and you believe that everyone cannot initiate force amongst themselves, no one will actually come together for a collective for a collective defense of one another because they're only serving their own self-interest. Furthermore, anarchism is moving backwards in our societal evolution. Not that the society moves forward as progressives, as in human evolution when we created civilization. Anarchy will not create a functioning society and is a dysfunctional, hypothetical society that will never exist. All right, so uh, I would ask if it would be in your self-interest to have this collective defense. Oh, to have a collective defense? Yeah, would that be in your self-interest? Well, <clears throat> the majority of people I in collective defense will not <clears throat> fight for someone for no tangible... Well, they will fight. <clears throat> they won't band together because you're just atomized individuals. It wouldn't be in your self-interest for a collectivized defense. You could have a poorly organized collective defense, but ultimately you would not have trained soldiers. You would not have a uh, chain of command you just have a bunch of idiots running around uh with the uh, ars and whatever you can scrounge up uh, do you think the state is needed to form firms you mean to form firms yeah like companies do you think that would happen on its own or do you need the state to do that again uh <clears throat> you don't need the state to do that but the state will always exist so there's no point in arguing that the state state you need the state to do that anarchy has never existed in human history so there's no point in arguing whether or not you need the state to do that because there's never an example of a functioning anarchist society okay so if you don't need the state to form firms why wouldn't you expect a firm for uh, defense to pop up here's the ultimate flaw with your defense firm i could bribe them easily just to not show up not to fight for me just not to show up this happened a large amount of time in the 16th century when there was large mercenary armies, people would just say, hey, uh, don't show up tomorrow, and here's a large amount of money. Uh, so do you think, uh, you know, let's say you have a choice between a couple of uh, firms to hire defense with, would you go for the firm which says um, we accept bribes, or would you go for the one which says we don't accept bribes? It's not that they don't accept bribes. It's simply I just have to pay them not to show up. Well, that would be a bribe, wouldn't it? Yes, they will all be willing to take that bribe. Why would they all be willing? Because, I mean, surely if you were to have a firm which says we don't accept any bribes, you'd go for that one, wouldn't you? When I show up with my army, the people who have <laughs> loyal to me, not because of money, not because I'm paying them, but because of higher ideals and basically bounds of loyalty, and they don't care how much money you give them because they are my zealots, I can simply go to these firms and say, here's a large amount of money don't show up tomorrow. Yeah, two questions. Would you personally, if you had the choice between a couple of different firms, would you go for no, the no, ones no, which not said... Talk, we're not talking I, about... I'm, a, I'm asking a question. Would you go for the ones which said they don't accept bribes or the ones which do? And do you need the state to have loyalty? Again, the state exists. I'm asking it's... whether you need the state to have loyalty. Could you have loyalty without the state? Could you have loyalty without the state? Yeah, that's my... That's You're my atomized question. individuals. You, it's not lo you could have a loyalty could you to ha are you loyal to your parents are you loyal to your parents as a I'm yeah. asking you if you're loyal to your parents so you are loyal to your parents did the state force you to be loyal to your parents that's that's <clears throat> you're talking about two separate things you're talking about familiar bonds it's and all blood about loyalty ties. are you no. loyal to your friends again this is these are two separate subjects I'm, I, I, I'm needing to determine whether you need uh, the state to have loyalty, though. Because if not, this, then it's a this point. is, you know, you're mincing heads. The point I'm making is that inefficiency when it comes to private militaries, so in all, <clears throat> on reliability of mercenary companies, you're trying to make the argument about something we're not talking about. We're talking about a military that you could, that the only reason they're fighting is because you're paying them. I mean, your your argument was, though, that a military which is bound to you by loyalty is better than uh, one which is bound to you by cash. So I'm asking whether you need the state to have loyalty. Again, you're misinterpreting the entire concept. The concept is that they're fighting for a higher ideal than themselves. 
they would they liberty are, be a higher ideal than oneself liberty is a subjective term some people believe there's negative it's liberty and subjective. positive yes some it is very subjective it depends on the definition of liberty then doesn't it again under, people, under my definition of liberty is non-aggression so would that be a higher ideal than oneself again anybody can classify aggression as anything Anybody can classify anything as anything that's irrelevant if we no, have no, no, my no. definition of liberty would that be a higher ideal than oneself no because non-aggression so what is a higher ideal than oneself how do you define that a higher ideal than oneself i fight for the king i fight for the glory of the nation i fight for god i fight for liberty no one's, going, no one's going to follow that what are, what are the criteria i mean plenty of people fight for liberty what would be like when the where's american those things the, the american, american revolution Revolu the american revolution were not anarchists or weren't bound by libertarian that's ethics because that's because they hadn't uh, developed the theory far enough they weren't the, aware the, the, about the, th the, th the theory of classical liberalism is completely different than anarcho-capitalism this is irrelevant in, our, they, in their minds they were fighting for liberty they were Whether fighting, they actually were is irrelevant it's not irrelevant because you're trying to you, equate you're quite trying to equate two different concepts of liberty they, they believed what they were fighting for was liberty Again, those are two different concepts of liberty. Your definition okay, let's, of liberty. Let's get your criteria for so I can find out what a higher ideal is. Because I because you're saying liberty isn't a higher ideal. I so said what, that, what, what you, are the no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's this it's this equation that libertarians like to make to the American Revolution, which were believed in a what Republican form. How do I find it? Okay, let's just say that, that it wasn't a higher ideal, whatever. What are your criteria so I can apply? I to just any, explained so, it. So I can I can apply. I want just a list of criteria that I can apply to any given uh, ideal to see if it's a higher ideal or not. Again, the higher ideals that I consider higher ideals are not things of the mythical world. They are things of the metaphysical world. They're things of the physical world, did you say? As in <clears throat> the things that aren't tangible about money or anything. I know I you mean, liberty is not tangible. I mean, sure, you could argue that. So that would be a higher ideal, would it? Not your form of liberty. No one is willing to fight for the non-aggression principle. I because would it be. will never Okay, you're one person. I, I know plenty of ANCAPs who would also be willing to fight for that. Okay. Okay. There is no <laughs> tangible benefit to the extremely wealthy people you would need to fund a libertarian project. The, what would the tangible very benefit? Well, very be wealthy for... people are constantly funding libertarian projects. I mean, if you're looking at, well, uh, you know, uh, I did a video on this not too long ago about Jack Dorsey uh, tweeting out anatomy of the state. If Jack Dorsey like that, 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 an, that, 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 that's well, irrelevant. If, if Jack Dorsey becomes Jack an Dorsey, ancap, he's Jack a billionaire. Dorsey, Jack, he Jack, not fund such a thing? Jack, Do Jack Dorsey is not even slightly going to become an ancap because there's no tangible benefit Why? in funding anarcho-capitalism because it, he, he I, has a monopoly. Not, every, not everybody thinks in these terms. Not Some people think about more than just, you know, would this benefit my wallet? Some people care about what is just. You know, we call these people uh, righteous people. People care about political power. That's what Jack Dorsey is concerned. Some people how care can about I, that. How can I maximize you know, if, my if mortgage? You're like, if you're like a Hegelian, then that's all you care about. But no, I'm not a Hegelian. That, that, not everybody's Hegelian. a Hegelian. Hegelian I, 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 know, I know for a fact that if I was a billionaire, I would still be an anacap. I, I wouldn't, cool, I but wouldn't you're abandon Rothbardianism. Okay? It's but you're irrelevant. not. And it's not do you, irrelevant. Do you, think it's, do you think it's literally impossible that Jack Dorsey would become an ANCAP? There's no tangible benefit for him to become an ANCAP. He already you know, gains. He already. This is, shh, 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 shh. You are like a robot person. Why do you think in these terms of, well, this would not benefit me to pick up this? No, up? no, 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 no. Most people are not able to choose which ideology they support based on uh, what would benefit them. I can't choose what to believe based on what would benefit me. I just believe. I'm not what I saying believe. that. I'm saying it wouldn't tangibly benefit him. Or anything, he would have no incentive to do it. Uh, what about just to bring about a world that he wants to see? Is that not incentive? <clears throat> sure, sure. If if it's... you could if you could pay ten dollars and then every nobody no pedophile would ever be born again, would you pay that money? 
Again, this is a hypothetical, though. Uh, yeah, I know it's a hypothetical, but would you pay so that it's money? Pointless. Ten dollars and no pedophiles ever born. From no, that no, because it's a pointless hypothetical. No, it's, you were it's never called enough. big point, though. It's called no, no, big no. point, though. No, would no, it's a it? point. It's a pointless hypothetical because it would never it? happen. No, it's a pointless hypothetical because it's never going to happen. It's irrelevant whether would, it ever happen. No, no, it is would relevant. You do it? It, no, it is relevant. If you would pay the money, there's no tangible benefit to you paying that money. It it's is relevant. No, no, it, it, it's, it, it is relevant to whether or not it's going to happen because there's the well, there's the world of the theoretical, which is all, which is what all anarchists live in. And then there's, the the realm of, then there's the well, then there's the realm of reality that we live in. Like, uh, how can you not? How can you not see? Like in these, like uh, what, whatever you've you've got, like a you know linear brain. I guess I'll have but to yeah, work yeah. with that. So no, no, uh, no, no, democracy no, 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 versus you, monarchism. You, why do you go for monarchism over democracy? I could easily explain that. Democracy is a failed system. We can demonstrate that liberal democracy just creates an oligarchical class that overwhelmingly uses the uh, con gains control of every aspect of power. I, never, I don't believe monarchy is a perfect system. There's just a visible ruler. The monarch is there and he's visible. And if the monarch is up, we know who's to blame. Democracy deflects the blame back onto the people. and said the people are at fault for the failures of the ruling class. So what's the problem with the oligarchical class? What what makes you upset with them? <clears throat> oh, no, I, I don't believe that fundamentally them gaining political power is wrong. I have no problem with that. My point is they, they pretend that they don't have power when they do. I mean, uh, basically every president says, yeah, no way do you have power. I'm going to do this executive order and everything. I mean, is that literally your only problem? Do you not have a problem with like the economics of democracy or, you know, uh, the justness of it? It's just whether people are like, uh, you know, just the framing of it. Is that your only issue with it? Oh, no, no. There's many problems I see with democracy. It's not just the framing of democracy. D ec <clears throat> democracy, I mean, the libertarians are correct when they say that, uh, what, uh, what is his name? Is correct um, when he said, Hopper. well, yeah, Hop's completely correct when it comes to democracy as a soft form of communism. It is true. Democracy will. Are you aware of his argument? Yeah. Do you agree with his argument against democracy? I agree with his argument, but I, I think Hobbes... Okay, if, if you agree with his argument against democracy, you necessarily agree with his argument for anarchism. because No, I do. Hop is not Have an anarchist. Have you read the book? I've read the book. Hoppe is an anarchist. He is. Hop is an anarchist. You have not he read said, this book. He, he, you have not he, said, read he, said, he says in Democracy the God that Fails, anarcho-capitalism is a good ideal, but monarchy is more practical. He does not say those words. I want you I, to give me a page number where he says that. Again. Because he says in the introduction, I remember this because I've read it. Uh, he says, I, this book should not be taken as... Some, I'm paraphrasing here, uh, but I want you to look up the page number for me real quick. Uh, he said, paraphrasing here, he says, this book should not be taken as an endorsement of, uh, of monarchy, sorry, uh, as I am an anarchist, because Hoppe is an anarchist. Are you aware even of anything Hoppe writes? This is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I took it... You know, Have you read I, The Economics I, and Ethics of Private Property? I've read the Democracy of the God that failed. I, I think Hop ultimately. Did you understand it? I don't think you understand yeah, it. Yeah, I did understand it. I think this Hop is a very anarchist. No, 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 no. Look, look, listen, you artist, artistic anarchist. What? Okay, I want you okay, to shut what? the fuck up. Like, what seriously. Is his, you, what, what, what is his argument against democracy? Uh, Just tell me it. If you've read it, what is his argument against democracy? He says it's a soft form of communism and time. No, what, what is his argument for that? So, a time preference. Yeah. Time preference. That's a lot of arguments. But I think Hobbes tries to straddle this weird line between reactionaryism and libertarianism. I think that's what he, that's my opinion of Hobbes. You can have a different interpretation of Hobbes, and that's fine. That's my interpretation of him. My interpretation of Hobbes is that he's a uh, you know, student of Murray Rothbard. He very much respects Murray Rothbard, and he yeah, says he multiple times that he's an anarchist. And do you want me to get up a quote of him saying that he's an anarchist? I could probably find one on YouTube. Again, you can say that plenty of people have called themselves anarchists. This is my interpretation. What makes him not an anarchist? Hmm? Oh. What did, what did you say he said uh, that anarchism doesn't work? What, what page was that on, by the way? I know said he said anarchist doesn't work. Well, I, said he, I, said, I said... You said he, that he uh, said it's an ideal, but monarchy is more feasible. 
And that's what yeah. you said he said. So I wanted you to get the page number for that, by the way. Okay, I want you to get the page n- number for plenty of things. This is not how debates oh, rock. This is not oh, how okay. debates... No, 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 no. Seriously, this is not how debates rock. We're supposed to assume... Uh, oh, so, people... so you just get to wager on what Hopper said. Without yeah, no, no, no. I'm giving you. my interpretation of what Hopper said. You, you, have... you said that he said that. Okay, no, no. When, I said that's you, my... If you read the book... No, no, I have read the book. He saw, you had read you, the book, no, no, you would have you, read you saw, the lines where he said he is an anarchist. And he's, again, he's not that, that's my monarchy. interpretation of what happened. So, so you interpreted when he said he's an anarchist and he is not endorsing monarchy. You yes, interpreted I, that as monarchy makes more sense. You no, know, uh, I interpreted that in his book that he, he, wants, he wants to straddle the line between reactionism and monarchy. So in, and reactionism and libertarianism. You did, are, did, yeah, did I, I, notice, I know. I know this is yeah. that all of his arguments applied to democracy being worse than monarchy. Also applied to monarchy being worse than anarchy. Did not notice and any I, of that. Do you again, know? Did you know? Did you by any chance clock his argument against taxation? Are you for taxation, by the way? Yes, I'm for taxation. Did you clock his argument against taxation in there, where it's decivilizing? As uh, Hopper, uh, I've I've not got it up here, so uh, you know I'll be you know pro- pro- possibly butchering it a little bit. But basically, his argument against taxation is that it necessarily raises time preference because you are lowering the expected value from investing. So you're going to have people being higher time preference. And in fact, if you have high enough taxation, which you often see in democracy, uh, you can actually reverse the natural tendency of time preference to fall. Did you not clock any of that? Did you not read that chapter or something? I read the whole book. But you didn't notice any arguments against taxation. You didn't notice I any have, of it. I, I can agree with some things people say and not have absolute agreement did you with everything. Did you, did uh, you no, notice it? Did you notice that? No, no, no. I, I read it. I can have a disagreement with okay, things I've read. When you read it, did you recognize that that argument was in there? Or did you yes, just not realize that I, argument was in there? I can read, listen, I can read something and disagree with it. And I don't think I, you've actually read it because you didn't understand that any of these arguments existed. Yeah, no, 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 see, 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 I can see. I see. You, you're lying see, to me right now. Is what you're doing. You no, think he I'm was not. endorsing monarchy. You have I said that up, again. That's no, no, what you said. No, 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 no. Whatever. Yeah. If you, if I, if I were to bring up, uh, you know, your favorite author, I don't know, Oswald Mosley or something, I said in his book. <laughs> God, it, 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 again with again with the in, in his, in his, in, no, no, in this his, is ad hominem. Yes, it in, is. in his you're, book, you're he actually said, you're "I love ass- smearing shit over no, my mouth." No, no, you know, you're making, and, and you're then, making, and then you just say, no, "You're, you didn't not, say you're that. making the assumption that I'm a fascist." That's ad hominem. I, know, I could was, say I that knew it would piss you off. It's not ad hominem, by the way. I just okay, uh, you, you know, there's a lot of libertarians who support the uh, abolition, of, uh, sorry, uh, abolishment of the age of consent. There's actually okay. a long history of pedophilia, pedophilia and libertarianism. Actually, okay. the Cato Institute supports getting rid of the sexual. I, 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 yeah, I, I agree. The Cato Institute is a bunch of lizards. Oh, they're the main thing in libertarianism. They're not the main thing in libertarianism. They're a pile of fucking CIA lizards. Do you have evidence for that? Uh, yeah, go on WikiLeaks. Did you actually see the um, uh, Nicholas Sarwark? <laughs> He's actually on WikiLeaks as a CIA agent. You should look this up sometime. It's actually very interesting. Oh. Oh, because people work for the CIA that no longer makes them libertarian? Uh, yeah, if, if they work for the CIA, that means they're an agent. You just think maybe this agent in a <laughs> subversive ideology, anti-state, do you think maybe he's possibly a fed? He's possibly glowing? Like, are you three years old? No, someone can work for a... Someone can take money from a foreign government and still have the same ideal. <laughs> can somebody work for the CIA... And legitimately say that they're not a Fed infiltrating libertarianism. Are you... No, they can legitimately believe that they're a libertarian. Oh my God. And work for the and CIA. They work for the CIA. Yeah, yep. no. They, you they can would not be for... a very consistent libertarian then. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a libertarian, it. but I want to oppress all the foreigners. Uh, okay. I don't know the people in my country. Uh, Fuck them all. I'll just work for the state. Monarchism is an extreme position. No, it's not. It's not an extreme. You think it's position. not an extreme no, position? No, it's not. Anarcho-capitalism. So you, is an so you, extreme position. I agree that it's an extreme position. I think we both. I think we're both extremists. So what is Monarch- not extreme about monarchism? Do you think monarchism it's is the status quo? Is. No, no. Monarchism is just well, monarchism is not the status quo. Would you say it's perhaps on the extreme then? Nope, because it's existed and it was never extreme. It There's nothing existed. extreme about monarchism. It's a pretty it, rational. It is an extreme, though, isn't it? I'm not, not saying really. it's bad. Because Extremist. It is on an extreme, though. It's saying all the power must be vested in this one entity. 
Uh, that's that's really one extreme. that's one form of monarchism. There's absolutists, there's constitutionalists, and there's what type of monarchism are you for? Oh, I'm an absolutist. Absolutely. So that is your type of monarchism then. Correct. Yeah. So why were you arguing so hard with me? Oh no, no. The point. The point is. <clears throat> Whatever, but analogies and hypotheticals are a pointless form of conversation because in hypotheticals, it tends, and your, it tends your ethics. No, 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 no. In hypotheticals and analogies, we can literally say anything, so they're pointless because they're That's not. That's what makes them so powerful. No, because they're pointless because you can say anything and this make is this. such cope. Jesus Christ, you're no, 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 no. You, you can an entire form of aristic engagement. No, I'm rejecting it. It will destroy you. No, it won't destroy me. It's because What's it's next? Pointless. Are we going to reject the Socratic method? Because no, I mean, I'm not rejecting this Socratic so method. Much. You can you can sit here and cope and see it all you want, you ginger little <laughs> Irish fuck. Wow, I, I the check, the rules, quiet. check the rules. Quiet, check the rules. Quiet, quiet. Because I reject hypotheticals and theoretical and it makes and you bad at arguing. No, it's not makes me bad at arguing. No, it's it's because I could literally say anything in a hypothetical. Yeah. And in this hypothetical, there could be another hypothetical that could build upon this hypothetical. Yeah. And there's other hypothetical that works in this hypothetical yeah. and this hypothetical. Well, so it's pointless. argumentation. No, the point is we argue it. I like arguing the realms of reality of things that are real. Yeah, because you know that these hypotheticals will destroy you, which is why no, they no, they them. won't. I'm not rejecting they them will. because well, cause if they won't because, destroy you, do you want to just humor me and go with? No, me? I'm not humoring you because I don't accept okay, hypotheticals. Okay, so you so you think they won't destroy you, but you desperately don't no, want to go into that. No, territory. no, no, I don't want to go into them because you can say I've explained why I don't believe in hypotheticals. Like I could say in a hypothetical you're, situation. This this is again just your linear brain. Coming. No, no, it's not linear. Very much creativity. No, you lack creativity because in an argue, in, in the you point see, that's what the, I'm saying. You don't actually point, have new insults. Point, you just no. you just take my insults. You said when I said you were coping, you said I was coping. Uh, you did you did point out the ginger thing, which is very good. You got some creativity there. You're able to no, 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 scan no, no, me no, up no, and no, down, no, find out something. No, no. And then, but then when I said, you know, you've got a linear brain, you said no, you've got a linear brain. No, no, you lack creativity. Uh, no, no, because because look, because I actually d d do have credits in my but i could write anything in a fiction story and in yeah. that in the in, in in the in the realm of reality i create there all of my subjective things i say there are true so it's a pointless mm -hmm. exercise because you're just saying well in this hypothetical thing it's my not pointless my it ethics are ethics. true it tests your ethics is what it, it does. doesn't test your ethics. You can say, you're just being imagine, a hypothetical. imagine A and B are in a conversation, and then A stabs B. You would say, hey, hey, A would not be just there unless he, you know, is doing some sort of retribution on B because B stabbed him, you know. That you can analyze those hypotheticals, and it's very useful to analyze hypotheticals because you don't have all the muddiness of reality. You can just get down to the very basic logic of it. To reject hypotheticals is to reject argumentation, which you are currently engaged in. So I know you don't. You just know that this will go down a road which will make you lose the debate. So you desperately don't want to go down that road. No, no, you can, you can, you can make up and say I don't want to accept hypotheticals. I've explained several times why on a why I don't accept hypotheticals because they're not based in the realm of reality. Yeah, and that we, makes you we, like you know, that makes you okay. have a linear brain. Can I, can I butt in really quick? Can I butt in really yeah, sure. quick? Okay. So um, you guys are kind of both arguing hypotheticals, right? Because and I, I get what you're saying, the loyalists, that there's been monarchies in the past, but there's not a whole lot of monarchies you can point to now. So you got you guys are both gonna have to make this argument because that America is not a monarchy and America is not ANCAP. So mm -hmm. coming from that place, you're going to have to hypothetically speak how that's going to work in America. So stop going back and forth about the hypotheticals. Each bring forward your argument and argue it. Sure. So uh, if if do we agree on use the use of hypotheticals now, loyalist? No. I mean, Justin's just made a pretty good case there that you still are using hypotheticals. I mean... <clears throat> We could say there's something of, I mean, you could say that there's realities that we want to come to pass and we have plans to reach them. Yeah, but that, that, I don't think that's hypothetical. I think that's. And you're wrong. Okay, we can have a disagreement about that. I'm just, you guys are wasting a lot of time, like valuable time having this discussion 
by having this argument right now when you could be arguing ANCAP versus Monarchy. And I, and I would monarchy. love that if we could agree to use hypotheticals, because we're going to need to, as you've pointed out. No. I don't believe in hypotheticals. You're just digging in your heels here, buddy. Uh, no, 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 look, I'll answer it. Uh, sexual, sexual acts and these aren't comparable in the slightest. There's my answer. I don't believe that. Why are they not comparable? Rate... Okay, easy. <clears throat> when you're talking about taxation, when you're talking about sex, sex is you're saying as a person. This is overall, you're applying it to an individual level, but I'm applying it to a societal level. It's a disagreement because I believe society is made up of a collective and you believe it's made up of individuals. I mean, because a collective is just multiple individuals, no? No, it is an overall people who share some immutable characteristics, whether it be race, religion, or something that what, what, binds okay, them so together. It's, if everybody in this orgy porgy, if they all shared some immutable characteristic, would they then be allowed to drag this person in and start raping them? Would that be fine? If they shared an immutable characteristic? No, because we're talking about, you're talking about the difference between those two different things. Everything is not, cannot be applied to a different, you cannot apply the concept of taxation and sexual assault. Those are two totally different topics. Why can't I analogize them? Where's the disanalogy? Okay. No one is going to be mentally or physically scarred from being taxate, taxed. People are going to be mentally and physically scarred. Some people scarred. might be. A very few people. But okay, most but so, so some people are. Small amount of people. So how many people must be emotionally or physically scarred before it's a problem? So let's say, you know, this person who doesn't want to engage in the orgy, they're like a stoic monk. You know they would not be emotionally scarred by this. Would you be like to pull them in? Again, this you, you see, now you just, see, this is why... I have an issue with hypotheticals. You're just going to expand the hypothetical so you can be correct. Yeah, because I mean, I am correct. If I no, was no, no, you're not. Yeah, you see, you, you need to expand this hypothetical until you're correct. This so hypothetical let me ask would you. not work if I was incorrect. I'm telling no, you right now. Won't. Or if you're consistent. If you're consistent, this won't work. Uh, <laughs> if she's evicting, uh, she can't forestall that baby. Uh, you know, this is. Uh, you know what forestalling is. Mm -hmm. You do know. So, what is forestalling? She cannot uh, harm the baby. Okay, so yeah, you don't know what forced all I'm so people... I think he's a, he's a little lost on the whole eviction. No, 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 I'm not. Um, sh 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 I didn't even, I don't know who this guy is. I think you are Stop. lost. No, no, no. I'm your daddy. Host. Okay, yes, yes. I know the, <laughs> the co-host needs to cut in because he's a retard. <clears throat> Whoa, that's... I wouldn't he... be talking, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be talking. It's, it, it, it's uh, I'm debating Zulu, not you. <laughs> oh, my God. The, whatever. I'm about to spike the ball right in your fucking face, but <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm going to leave then. I'm here to debate the curse. I'm here to debate Zulu. Okay, but you're also a guest. It doesn't matter. It's it's called it's it's called basic manners. Okay, but you you are. Like I'm not here. To, I'm not here to debate you. I'm not, I'm not going to have a debate about debating you. I'm not debating. I was just telling Zulu that I don't think he is aware of what the libertarians mean when they're talking about evictionism and abortion. Okay, yes, I'm fully aware of it. Okay. Okay, what is it? Uh, no, no, let, let me say, you could say, oh, I'm going to evict them from the womb. Okay, say the woman does that. The woman, evictionism. She gets an abortion. And she... <clears throat> well, well, I don't no, she's not getting an abortion. Abortion implies killing the baby, not evicting it. Okay, evicting it. When can you do this? Hmm? Anytime. You can... Uh, <gasps> so You, you can legally evict. You can evict if the baby would die. That's fine. Okay. This would never work, though, because you're for, you're still forcing but someone. Your your argument wasn't whether it would work or not. Your argument was whether no, 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 it's no, 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 or not. Because we're not no, being abortion. So it's not whether so it's not whether so it's not whether it's not whether it's whether I'm consistent on it. You're inconsistent on libertarian ethics. Why am I inconsistent there? on libertarian ethics? Because there? you are forcing someone and forcing you are forcing someone to pay for a service that they don't want. And it's, you're also forcing them to carry it, a baby to term. It's a lot. I'm not forcing anybody to carry a baby to term. So you just didn't listen to what I said there. I did listen to what you said. Because, I said you can okay, evict at any can, time. Okay, if you can evict at any time, a baby can send someone. Hey, remind remind me again. I just forgot. What does forestalling mean? Again, you know what, dude? We can use 10 cents words all we want. 
I, like, I don't okay, think he knows. I feel like with this, this big <laughs> circles, um, I think the best thing to do is probably just um, be into it. Yes, I know, because Zulu doesn't understand. You're going to like Q&A or Flawless something? Flawless victory. Uh, yeah, you know, Shut the fuck up. Just, <laughs> Zulu um, fucking owned your ass, bro. You should Zulu, call see, this, Brittany, <laughs> you're, you're a terrible host, by the way. Like I'm not okay. Leave, leave the host side of it, bro. Like, shut the <laughs> fuck up, Zulu, and shut. Like seriously, flawless yeah. victory. Okay. Yeah. Um, God. Yeah. Uh, let's do a Q and A. Um, yes, uh, ganging uh, the co-host debating on behalf of the uh, of uh, one of the guests. That that's a that's a fair debate. I, mean, I Justin is not a libertarian. He does not agree with me on basically anything. Yeah, yeah, yes, but you're He's not supposed to cut in. With me. Okay. Actually, well, you may know logical debate. point flow that that's what i do as a host i try to like when people get stuck i yeah. try to get it moving along yeah yeah and you whatever just stuck on bullshit so bullshit yeah. whatever see you're uh, making comments i think justin was being a good host yeah. justin was not being good host he it's like people saying you know cutting in on behalf of biden it's saying, oh, you know, no, 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 no. Uh, he, he was not with... making any arguments. For, okay, I, yes, I, I don't want to presume anything. Arguments. Justin, are you a, an ANCAP, by the way? Again, it doesn't matter whether or not he's an ANCAP. Yeah. When you're interrupting and making arguments on someone else's behalf, you're an active participant on it's the other an side. ANCAP debate, though. Okay. Okay. Why would he make well, an argument an ANCAP, ANCAP debate? The debate with statism versus non-statism. Uh, and you never that, even went into it. Go part of yeah, I, yeah. So we, we also have another debate at 8 p.m. tonight, you guys. Uh, Eastern. It's going to be on vaccine mandates. I'm just going to shut this down. Um, we're going to restart another stream and watch. The yeah, this stream. was completely pointless. <laughs> Co-parter. Good night. Shut the fuck up, Todd. <laughs> like seriously.